All right guys, so in this week's video, we are actually gonna head up and fish early season bass. Now here in Wisconsin and in Northern Michigan and in the state of Michigan, there is early catch and release bass season. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like some of my favorite jig heads, Smeltinator, go to the BT website here. These are awesome jig heads. Gussie and a lot of other guys have won a lot of tournaments on the Elite Series with this. Um, these jig heads, we're just gonna be fishing those sort of jig heads with a paddle tail. And then I'm going to be throwing a rattle bait, a Strike King rattle bait here. Um, and we're going to be targeting smallmouth. Now the thing is, it's been a really cold spring. So we're going to be targeting these river mouths and right near shore. And when you go there this time of the year, you can catch everything. We're probably going to catch walleyes, brown trout, smallmouth, pike. We're not going after walleyes, but you can't keep them off your lines and a lot of times throwing big bass bait. So remember, if you go early, catch and release bass on your lakes, you're going to catch everything else. You just have to immediately get them back. You cannot put the bass in your live well. You can't keep the fish in your live well. You have to take a quick pick, let them go. If you get a big walleye, take a quick pick. You can measure it and let them go. But that's what we're out to do. Early catch and release bass season. Going to try to do a meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down, hook up the boat. Let's go. with me we just made it up here to the upper peninsula of michigan i'm with my buddy andy and uh just got up here we've been fishing walleyes in all the rivers in green bay but we got some warming trends going on and warming trends mean one thing up here in michigan there's big smallies so what we're going to do is we're going to launch here and we're going to go out maybe fish up the river and out in the bay what's nice this time of the year you get big smallmouth that start to migrate right up the rivers and you catch walleyes. We're not targeting walleyes up here in Michigan because the walleye season's actually closed. Doesn't open up until uh, mid-May, May 15th, but we are targeting big smallmouth and we'll go out in the bay or in the river to go see if we can put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down. It's cold, it's early. You ready, Andy? I'm ready. Let's go. These are the fish, guys. Four or five feet of water. These little marks you see here, right here, 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 these are fish. It's just a bad More than the ribbon wrap? Yeah. Maybe. Try one. Put one on. The other one? Yeah. There he is. Is that a big smallie? Big smallie, I think. Grab the net. Big smallie, big smallie, big smallie. Big smallie, hell yes, that's what we came here for. Come on, let's freaking go. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Yes. Yes, on the rattle bait, guys. We came here searching for uh, smallmouth with rattle baits and swim baits and we're, that's what we want. Yeah, there's a whole school. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, brother. There he is. We'll do a little Instagram post. little guy not bad, not bad. I say little guy but he's a solid three pounder yeah. give us a call if you want to get out there he is Way out there. Smallmouth too. We on the smallies, Andy. We on the smallies, Andy. We on the smallies. Now I'm getting excited, baby. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, good one too. Sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a good one. Four pounder. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, big fat mama. That's a big one. Yes. That's over four for that's sure. Four. Yes, that's guys, big, look at that man. big fatty. Oh man, that's awesome. Woo! Look at that, guys. Big smallies. We got wind. We got waves. That's my favorite fish right there. Spring smallmouth bass. Heck yeah! Let's go. See you later. Yeah. Oh, got him right at the boat. Another oh, walleye. No smallmouth. Jeez, I'm trying to get rigged up, and you're just putting the beat down. Don't you know ruin your delicious smallmouth bass. Guys, up here in Michigan, we have a catch and release bass season. And uh, is my GoPro even recording? Nope. Mine is though. Eric, what do you Your, think? Yours is recording. What do you think? What do we got here? Here's what I think. My GoPro is not working right. <laughs> Eric's having problems today I, with this. I just changed cards. I changed batteries. And now it's... And now we got a small mouth. No comment. No comment. Throw them back. Eric, nice job. what should we do? Potato. I don't know. You keep fishing. You keep catching. I'm keep... I'll try to get my GoPro working so I, I, I can be in uh, this week's video catching something. But in the meantime, that's why I bring Andy with. To keep fishing. Yeah, I have no idea what why this thing is not working. I'm going to run it for a little bit and see if it freaks out or not, you know? Yeah. Well, just run it, look. Pointing it right towards you. Yeah, back. right. That's what I'm saying. I'll run it for a little bit, see if it freaks out. Good. That one's good. All right. Back up. Got him. This feels better. Up oh, walleye. Big walleye. Not no. a big one, but nice. No. Good thunk, though. Yeah. <sighs> we got to put one in the clam. Not allow Andy. I'm gonna sabotage all your GoPros, Eric. Your phone's ringing. Big walleye look like. I'm gonna grab the net. Yeah. Big walleye. And he's got a big walleye, guys. Oh yeah. Look at that giant. Oh, big head shakes. Wow. Wow, wow. You want me to grab it? Yeah. Go to the back? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Andy's throwing a paddle tail. I like to mix it up and try something different. I'll try all sorts of different baits, but I'm going to tell you this right now. That's why I like Andy. He'll throw this paddle tail all day, every day, and it works. Just catches lots of fish. And he, look at the way he ate it, dude. Wow. All right. And... Just over 29 inches, Andy. Just over? Just over 29. Awesome. There you All go. Right, here we go. 29 incher. 29. Nice job, Andy. Nice work. Good just job. keep throwing that paddle tail, man. I'm going to keep mixing it up, and that's what's great, is yeah. you're going to keep catching them because it just works. Notice I notice. Notice I notice. Wow. I can't talk. The water here, guys, wind's picking up. The water is definitely more dirt. It's, it's dirtier. Okay, watch. So, there's a fish right here. Here's Andy's bait. See it? Mm hmm. It's going right down on him right now. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's right on it. He's going to eat it. He's right on your bait. He was. Probably following it. Yeah, those. Yep, told you. <laughs> told you. That's why I put the live scope in the back. So Andy can sit here and point out where there's fish and do exactly that. Snipe them from the back while I go in the front. Another giant walleye. Oh my God. We're out here fishing smallmouth and catching giant walleyes. Wow. Huh? Right? Oh my God. Just another 28 incher. And look at the way they're crunching it, dude. Yeah. Like they are There's smoking it. No mistaking, huh? Bass Pro Shop. That is a four inch paddle tail. 
and just a 3 8 ounce jig head. All right, I'll say that's like 27, 28, 27. 27. 27 incher. Wow. Great job. You want me to throw them back? Yeah, let's go. See you later. Good teamwork. Thank you. That's what we're doing. We're just pointing. Take the handle. This is the Brew City uh, system here. It works really great. Oh, 30. Is that 31? Almost, yeah. Yep. Well, Look at that, Eric. 31. All right, guys. Here's the 31 inch walleye that I just caught. Giant that my GoPro wasn't recording because I'm a potato. Unbelievable. I mean, we're catching a lot of big, really nice big walleyes, guys. But I kind of wanted to show you the battle of those big ones. And I keep having, I've had so many issues. For you guys to try to shoot YouTube videos, you feel the pain if you're a potato like me. And you can't seem to get the GoPro running right or the other GoPro to run and ride. Pulling the hair out of my head. But Andy's GoPro is running right, so we're going to switch GoPros. I'm going to use his. Here we go. Andy's on smallmouth, right? Like yeah, it looked like he was jump, about ready to jump. Like a smallmouth, more than one. All right, all right. You got the walleye or smallmouth? Walleye, little walleye, and it's a baby. You can just flip him in. It's all right. Andy's throwing the paddle tail. I'm mixing it up and throwing a jerk bait, rattle bait, a jig, paddle tail. Everything works. They're biting it. Nice work. He's on it. There he is. Got him. Walleye. They're all walleyes. Huh? Yeah, that's a walleye. Wow. Another big one, dude. This is an insane smash fest of big walleyes. Not that big. You know what? I'm going to grab him. I'm not even going to net him. I'm just going to unhook him. He must have been looking at it, trying to eat it. It's like a bunch out here to the right. Cast out this way. Bunch out here, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, pile of them out here. Pile. Right up in front, come right next to me. Yep. Yep. Yes, right here. Unbelievable. Wow. Kind of hoping he'd come undone. All right, that's just another 29 inch, Andy. It's been a smash fest today, guys. See you later. There he is. Yeah. Put a jig and a plastic on see a big school of them i thought they might be smallmouth you know but they're just they're just giant walleyes andy this is a problem we're trying to catch big smallmouth and i'm marking fish but all i'm catching is giant walleyes like this this is a big one uh this yeah i might need a hand this one feels heavy Not bad. What's going on here? I think he's just fighting a little. Got a little more spunk than the average. Than your average 28 inch or 29 inch. Andy, we're getting spoiled, aren't 31. we? 31. 
31, 29, I mean. Oh, there he is. He's under the boat. Looks big. Ready? Yep. Oh, that's a baby. That's only 28, Andy. What are you... Maybe 29. All right, maybe another 20. Were you 20. milking that while you were fighting it? She gone. I mean, got to bump it. Just trying to keep track of how many we caught over 29 inches. There you go. Another 29. Unbelievable, Andy. Such beautiful colors to these fish, too. Look at that. That'll be a tank this summer. It's an old fish. Here's what I'm just, I'm just throwing a Strike King rattle bait. I put some of our UV tape on. We got some new UV tape coming out. Just prototype testing it. And I'm just working the bottom. Looking for fish. Andy's looking for fish. You don't really know if they're walleyes. You can see the rock and stuff out here in the bay. When we see what looks to be like a fish. Or several fish. Let's see right here. 50 feet. Just make a cast to them. There he is. A little redemption. Big fish, big fish. Yep. You can see him on live scope right there swimming down right now. Oh, it's another hog, Andy. You can't even see the bait. You can't even see the bait. They're just destroying the rattle baits. Oh my God. So it's back to back cast. 29, well, 31, 29. Look at that 20. Pinch that tail on that one real quick, Andy. No, 29. 29, 29, 31, back to back cast. That is crazy. There you go. See you later, sweet mama. See ya. Is this nuts or what? It's awesome. We're trying to catch big smallmouth, but we're catching big walleyes and pike. I mean, you never know. That's why I say you never know what you're gonna catch. You're railing them on the on the, the paddle tail, and I'm put I put a rattle bait on, so it, we'll see. It's working. You think they're liking the UV tape, Andy? Woo, that was brand new last night. We're gonna be selling UV tape, guys, really soon. Excited about it. Hot tape. That's right. We got hot tape coming up, Andy. Hot tape, hot tamales, hot fishing. Get it while it's hot. That's right. We got a big one right behind you, Andy. 30 feet. Right here. Got him. Right under the boat, dude. Unbelievable. Right under the boat. That's just stupid. Look at that. Right under the boat. You see that? I mean, he's just like, I'm in nine feet of water and I just saw him swim right underneath the boat. And 28 inches later, there you go. Maybe 29. Do we have another that is 29? Do we? No, 28. Oh, wait. Right here. 28 and a half. What's that? I miss yours. There's a good one. Molly? Not that big though. It's 
Smalley. Big Smalley. No? Little nice Smalley. Smalley. Hell yeah, Andy. I like it. That was just sitting there. Yep. On that pond. Totally just sat, I just totally well, sometimes the longer you leave it sit out there, the yeah. better it is. Yeah. When I was going down the current the other day, I was just kind of popping it. Nice fish. Oh, shit. It's got shit all over it. You know what And I still caught him with shit all over it. Feels like a big smallmouth, Andy. Does it? Yep. Feels like a big smallmouth. Nope. It's a freaking pike. Is it? Yep. It's a damn pike. That's it? Sure. Leaving the water? No, just fling them right there. Damn 32 inch pike. Would you knock it off? Stop it. Stay still. There he is. Just look at this. Is this another 29? No way. Let me bump them. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Unbelievable day. I mean, unbelievable. There he goes. What the hell, Andy? All right, all right. That's what we want. Put the jerk bait on. We're on a few. Okay, not big, but the right species. Let me net him here. Hand me the net. I got it. Hey, it's your PB Smalley. Yay! Whoa. I'll net it. Whoa. That's two and a half pounds. And he just caught his PB Smalley. Congrats. Thank you. Is Tony going to have enough room to fit all these fish? No. No, he's not. But here's the deal. Andy's standing back here. See the live scope? I'm going to turn it a little bit right there. See that in the waves? Those are fish. It's kind of hard to see those two marks right there. 75 feet away probably smallmouth yep you can see them now oh yeah they're there yep. look at right here yeah they've been there they're 70 lovely. feet right out there as much like so i can actually fish them now andy's throwing the jerk bait those are mixer well i gotta i gotta get out there i gotta get out, get out there. there all right i'm gonna show you guys how to tie a knot if anybody knows what knot this is leave it in the comments you make a loop in your leader you take your braid, close it, and then you hold the braid or your main line, and then everything else goes backwards. So you got a knot right there, you got three tag ends, everything goes backwards. You grab your main line, and you're basically doing, a, I believe it's called a uni knot. Make a loop. I go through four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. You wet your line down and slowly cinch it up. The knot basically is the stop. So guys that do a uni to uni, this is just one last step. And then cut off your tag ends. So if you know what that's called, let me know. The whole school right here. Throwing it right in them. Got them. Man, are they hammering it. They are just hammering it. 
it's just silly they're choking it too they're all giants i got it just another giant it's got a choke too dude can't even see the bait just gonna grab them just a 29 incher andy 28 maybe well, i don't want to lose my bait holy crap look at that guys smash fest huh what is that another 29 And another one over 29 inches, you guys. It's been stupid. Insane amount of giants. We got a big one right behind you, Andy. 30 feet. Look, right here. Let's see if I can't coax him into a little... Mash piece. He's just right behind the boat, Andy. Right here. Straight behind the back of the boat. Oh, is he looking at my bait? Yeah, here he comes. I got him. I got him. Got right behind the back of the boat. There's another one behind it with this one. I'm there. Oh, and it's another tank, dude. I got it. I got it. Just just go. It's another giant. Oh my god. Just catch that one behind you. Yeah, I'm tied in the Holy shite, Andy. This is insane. Look at this. Right under the damn boat, Andy. Right under the boat. I'm 30 30 Andy another 30 under the boat look at that magnum this is always the best bite of the year the post spawn bite we're out here fishing smallmouth but banging walleyes and we're getting smallmouth and pike the other day we got a brown trout out here so you never know what you're gonna catch but it's been crazy we're just drifting out here using live scope and sniping up hogs hogs oh yeah yep right there yep look at that guys i have caught two Another blue. right at like 30 130 and a half unbelievable unfreaking believable unbelievable big old fish she deserves what an awesome fish another one over 30 casting that's insane insane wow 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 that fish was just right behind the back of the boat man and i just pitched it right behind the back of the boat all right guys so we're gonna wrap it up right now we had an awesome day i don't know i think i had 11 fish over 29 inches four over 30 probably one of the best walleye days ever now we are actually out chasing smallmouth targeting smallmouth caught him on we did catch a fair amount of smallmouth caught some nice pike today andy and i put the meat down beat down smack down crack down hope you learned something from the videos jerk baits tubes paddle tails rattle traps all those sort of baits in the spring are going to get you bites look for warm water guys always pay attention in the spring where you can find the warmest and a lot of times the dirtiest water that's where you find the big ones all right i'm gonna get back to casting and fishing and uh, we're gonna wrap up this video we got rain coming so thanks tell me what is your pb walleye what's the most walleyes you've ever caught over 29 inches i think today um 11 over 29 is the best i've ever done for walleyes over 29 for me in one day for three quarters of a day fishing not bad thanks for subscribing leave me a comment time to go see ya